A trend among teens on TikTok could be the motive for murder. Police say this airsoft gun fell out of an SUV after the deadly shooting death of 18 year old Raymond Chalyusan early Thursday morning on the Cross Bronx Expressway. Now it's part of the investigation whether or not the teen was acting out a popular TikTok trend called the Orbeez Challenge before he was shot in the face. The man accused of pulling the trigger is New York City Correction Officer Dion Middleton. After the shooting, Middleton allegedly went about his business and went to work without saying a word. Sources tell PIX11 News surveillance video gave police the evidence they needed to arrest the 46-year-old for murder. Friends and family of the teenager are now left not only mourning his death, but questioning why he was gunned down. I feel really hurt that every single day there's always people dying, but the younger and younger of age that's passing away is just really sad, but in particularly Raymond. Sources tell PIX11 News the teen and a friend were making a McDonald's run in this SUV when they were stopped at a light. What is still not clear is whether or not the teen was holding the bead blaster in his hands at the time. The NYPD tweeted out this warning to anyone who owns a gun like this, saying water pellets are shot by an air pump, which makes the guns illegal in the city. But around the country, these guns are popping up, including in Florida, where someone aimed one at a mother and child. Law enforcement warning about the dangerous trend. It's kind of zero tolerance. If we do catch you, there could be some serious consequences with this. Back in the city, the police department is looking into several incidents involving bead blaster guns, including a Bronx traffic agent being shot in the back while writing a ticket. Still, regardless of what's going on, those who knew the teen can't believe he's gone. And his family is very, very heartbroken. Police say it's still unclear whether or not the teen ever fired that bee blaster. In the meantime, the correction officer faces several charges, including murder, manslaughter, and criminal possession of a weapon.